Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw rock freely from Herotopia. So let's start with the eye, the one on the left. Start at the base of the eye, we're going to curve up, and then we're going to switch gears and go in the opposite direction for the frown line in the front of the eye. We're going to step back a little bit here and just draw a line coming straight down to the same length as the line on the outside. From here we're going to connect these two points with an upward curve. Now we're going to draw the pupil. So in the inner right side, we're going to draw a round circle. So this gets tucked in underneath that brow line. Up here on the top right corner, we're going to draw a little white circle. And then behind that, we're going to draw a semicircle and then color that in black. So we've got a little highlight inside the eye. We're going to draw that same eye, but we're going to flip it over on the right side here. But we're going to condense the eye just a little bit because I have the character facing that direction. So we'll start in the inside. We'll go up and then we'll come down. So we want to make sure that we get that same height on the left and the right. And coming down on the bottom here, the same as on the left. And inside here, I'm just going to come straight down with a little line. I'm going to connect these two points with an upward curve, just like I did on the left. Let's draw that pupil. So up here, we're going to draw a circle, same size as the one on the left. We'll draw that little highlight at the top. And then right behind that, we're going to draw another circle and color that in black. Okay, so now that we got the eyes, we can get down to the nose. So down in the middle, right about here, I'm going to draw an upside down triangle. So a line straight across, and then we're going to come down to a center point below it. Let's draw the mouth, so I'm going to have them grinning. So up here, I'm going to draw a curve like that, just the frown line. Then in the middle, I'm going to draw a curve coming across the face. Let's draw the contour of the face. Now the chin comes down to right about here, but on the outside, I'll draw the contour of the face. So starting just above this eye, I'm going to curve outwards. And then right here, I'm going to smoothly curve towards the chin. And we're going to come up to the side, right about here, just on the same line as the eye, with a curve connecting right to the chin and we'll draw in the hairline. So right about here, up here, I'm gonna draw a curve, just intersecting with that line, and go up with the curve. I'll come down, draw a little strand of hair, and I'm gonna go back up again. Now from here, I'm gonna draw that same sort of jagged edge. So I'm gonna come down, and then back up. Here we're gonna draw one big swooping piece of hair coming down the middle of his face. So here I'm gonna curve down between the eyes, and I'm gonna curve up. Now here I'm going to switch direction. I'm going to take this point and just try to intersect past that line there. So come across and just pass the face and then back up again. Now here I'm going to go out to the outer part of the hair band. Okay, now here I'm going to draw the mask. So the mask is basically a curve that goes above this eye, comes down in between the eyes, and then goes back up again. So because the hair is on top, I'm going to have to draw in behind the hair. So starting over here, I'm just going to imagine this line going up behind that hair, up behind this hair, and it's going to come down and curve back up and then out. Let's draw the bottom part of the mask. So this I'm going to curve in the opposite direction below that eye. So right from this point, I'm going to curve up, up above that nose, and curve down and then back up into that cheek. So now that we got that, let's get into the ear. So here, I'm just going to start up here and just draw a curve that looks sort of like a C. Up here, I'm just going to draw a curve for some ear detail. And right here, I'm just going to draw a little line that goes down. Now let's draw the rest of the hair. He's got a big head of hair, so I'm going to probably draw the hair right up to about this point. On the side of the ear here, I'm just going to go up with a curve, and I'm going to come down. Now I'm just going to draw a couple strands of hair coming out, go up, and come out again. And right here is where the hair is going to start to split and go in the opposite direction. So here I'm just going to go up, and then back down. Now I'm going to have this big sweeping piece of hair that goes across, but in the middle somewhere here I'm going to draw a little break. So probably draw a curve. So right about here, I'm going to go up, and curve to the outside. Here I'm going to curve back in just a little bit. Now I'll take this point, I'm going to meet that point at the far end of his hair, just like so. Okay, so we got the hair and the head. Let's get into the body area. So right about here, I'm going to have his body sort of turned. He's going to have one arm out, one arm sort of in a fist, standing on his guitar. So right about here, I'm going to put the neckline. So up about here, I'm going to draw a half circle. I'm going to go inside and draw a smaller half circle, just like that. Let's draw the shoulder pads. So right about here, I'm going to have a big blocky shoulder hat pad. So I'll come straight out. I'm going to curve. And then this I'm going to tuck in just under the head like that. And for a little bit of detail, I'll just draw a little circle inside. Let's draw one more on this side. So this side I'm going to draw a line straight out. I'll curve. And I'm going to tuck this in behind the face. And I'll draw a circle just like that. Now before I get into the body, I'm going to have to draw the things that are layered on top. So the first thing I, that comes to mind is the arm. So 
the arm coming down this way gets overlaid on top of the body. So let's start with the, with the arm. So right about here, because his neck starts here, his arm is going to come out from that neckline. So his elbow would probably be located about here. So I'm going to draw a straight line aimed towards that neck, but I'll stop and tuck that in below that shoulder pad. From here, I'm going to curve down. So this is where the wrist will be. I'm going to move over. I'm going to keep a little bit of space here. I'm going to go up towards the elbow. Now here, I'm going to go straight across and probably just stop right about there. Now for the glove, I just want to intersect these two lines with a curve. So I'm doing a curve for the edge of the glove. Now I'm going to keep the, the glove quite simple. So here, I'm just going to curve to the outside where the knuckles would be. From here, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction. Now, about halfway down this glove, I'm going to find a little separation. So I'm going to draw a curve, and from here, I'm going to pass that line just a bit. So this is going to be the thumb. This gets tucked in like this, and we're going to draw some very simple fingers. I'm going to draw like an oval, right, like this for one finger. Now I'm going to do a series of overlaps. So from here, I'm just going to curve this behind. I'll do one more here, and then a final one for the pinky, just like that. Now if you want to add a little bit more detail, it's got some wrist detail here. So I'm going to draw a line up, draw a curve, and then continue that line again. And then I'm just going to draw a little curve like this. So curving around that wrist line on the inside and outside, and then connecting it with a straight line. Okay, so now that we got the arm, let's get into some of the body. So his body's going to be turned down, so his waist will be located right about here. I'm going to start with the backside first. So here I'm just going to come back a little bit and draw a curve to his hips. Now, I want to make sure that I get the width of his body right, so I'm going to probably come to about here and draw that same curve down to his hips. From here, I'm going to draw a curve that connects these two points, but in the middle of his belt buckle, he's got this little emblem. So I'm going to start in the middle here, draw a straight line across, and a curve down to a point. Kind of like that. Now I'm going to connect these two points, but this is going to get overlapped or behind that emblem. So I'll start on the left side, curving, continue behind, then up again. Now I want to just come down a little bit from the top and just continue that same curve behind that emblem. It's got another emblem in the middle here, so I'm going to draw a curve at the top. From here I'm going to curve down to a center point in the middle and continue upwards to connect the two points. And down the middle of his body he's got this line that separates the body. So from the middle of the neck, I'll come to the middle of the emblem. From that point, I'm just going to curve down like that. Okay, so now we got the body. Let's get into the arm. So this arm I'm going to have straight out with a fist. So we'll start with the top part of the arm. So again, from the neckline, I'm going to draw a straight line to the elbow. And from here, I'm just going to bulge out a little bit for the forearm. Here, I'm going to come down a little bit and draw a straight line to the elbow. And I'll just curve out a little bit for his forearm. Again, like I did here, I'm going to overlap a line on top of these two lines. So I'm going to curve a line like that. From here, I'm going to draw a straight line. From this point on the bottom, I'm going to draw another straight line. Now I'm going to connect these two points with a curve. It goes kind of like that. Now for the thumb, again, I'm going to keep this very simple. Let's draw a curve that goes up. And I'm going to curve this back in the opposite direction. And now I forgot to do a separation for the thumb here, but I'll do it right here first. From this point, I just want to curve around to just separate that thumb, that area right about here. I'll go back here and I'll do the same thing. Just drawing a separation like that. Now for the fingers, again, keeping it very simple, I'm going to come down a little bit and I'm going to draw a curve that goes all the way back to that point in the wrist. Now from here, I'm just going to draw a curve like that. Now again, like I did here, I'm going to draw a series of overlaps for the fingers. So coming around like this, I'm going to do this three times for the three fingers behind it and separating the fingers with a little curve along the top. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to draw the same detail that I have on this wrist over here. So I'm going to start in the back here, drawing a straight line across a little half circle, and then continuing that line across, and then that little square box at the top of the wrist, connecting the two lines like so. Let's get into the legs. So the legs are going to come out, and it's going to be standing on this board. So I just want to locate the bottom of his torso first. So I'll locate the middle of his body, and then draw a straight line across. From here, I'm going to go to the outside edge of these hips. From this point, I'm going to curve out, and then from this point, I'm going to curve out equal length, uh, equal distance across the leg. From here, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction. And then from here, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction, but getting a little bit wider as I get to the bottom. From here, let's do what we did on the wrist and just put a line curve that goes across each one. From here in the back, I'm going to curve down to the back of the heel. 
Now from here, I'm going to want to draw the front of the foot, but down the front there's some big buckles. So what I'm going to do is right about here, I'm going to draw an oval. And below it, I'm just going to overlap another oval just behind it. From this point, I want to come down to a wider base of the ankle. So right about here, I'm going to angle out and stop right about here. Now I want to draw the big toe of the foot, but before I do that, I'm going to draw the bottom of the foot first. So the foot is quite large, so right about here, I'm going to draw the heel part first. So a little curve, and from this point, I'll probably want to come to about here with a big curve. Now from this point, I'm going to draw a big toe. So the toe of the boot that curves around kind of like that. I'll just close that off there slightly. Let's draw the sole of the boot. So I'm going to trace this bottom edge just slightly up above the bottom, kind of like that. And along this whole thing, I'm just going to draw a series of lines that come down. It's just to show a little bit of tread, kind of like that. And then in the front of the boot, there's a little bit of a stripe. So here, draw a curve to the back, come out a little bit and draw that same curve and just tuck that in behind that toe. And in the ankle here, there's a big oval detail. I almost forgot there's a little strap across his thigh. So here, I'm just going to draw a curve. And I'm going to go up and draw that exact same curve just above, like so. Let's draw the front leg. So now I want to take this leg and draw it pretty much the opposite this way. So I start with the top of the thigh, coming down to the same height as this knee on the left. And then the inside part of the thigh. To the front of the shin, I'm going to come down. And here I'm going to come down as well, going a little bit wider as I get down to the base. Now I'm going to do a straight curve going across the two lines there. Now let's start with the back of the heel here. So going from here, I'm going to come down with a curve to the same height as I have in the back. So I'm basically mirroring this boot on this side. Now I'm going to draw the buckles here, so big oval, and then another one just behind it. So now the boot comes down in an angle towards the ankle here. Let's draw the bottom of the boot. So the heel curve. Now the foot, again, is, I want to make sure that I get the same length here. So starting here, I'm going to curve to the toe. And from this, I'm going to draw that big toe area that comes up and then down. Let's trace the bottom of the sole. So, and then draw those little tread details on the bottom. And then we'll draw that stripe. So starting at the front and just a little one in the back here. And a little oval detail in the ankle. Now, we're going to get into the board, the, uh, the guitar board that he's standing on. Oh, before I do that, let's draw the cape. almost forgot that. So let's start up here. I'm going to draw a cape that's sort of swishing back this way. So starting right about here, I'm going to draw a line out. I'm going to curve this down. Now, this is basically a cape that's folded over on itself. So I'm going to show a little, a little bit of wrinkling. So here, I'm going to go out a little bit and draw a curve like that. Let's draw that curve at the end. And draw another curve that comes across and just sort of vanishes like that. And curve down. Now the final one, right about here, I'm going to curve all the way into that arm. From this point, I'm going to just curve like this, tuck this in behind that arm, and continue behind that body. Okay, so now we got the cape. Let's get into the board. So this is kind of, I'm going to show you a little bit of perspective here. The board's not flat or it's not facing us. It's sort of angled this way. So the start, the best way to start this is to draw an angled line to kind of guide us. So let's start with the heel here. So I'm going to draw a straight line with a slight angle to the front edge of the guitar. I'm going to draw that same line just behind it here. So I'm going to draw a line like this, coming across like so, I'm trying to make sure that it's got the same distance between. I kind of went a little bit thinner, but that's okay. From these two points, I'm going to connect them with an angled line. Let's finish that off like that. Now for the guitar. I'm going to draw the base of it. So here, right about here, I'm going to come all the way out with an angle and just kind of go right into that piece there. From this point, I'm going to go up, slight angle, and then this goes right into that foot like that. Behind here, I'm going to draw an angled line going behind that boot. Now to give this some perspective, I'm going to make this a little bit deeper. So from this point, I'm going to draw a little line coming down. Up here, I'm going to draw a line coming down. So where it intersects here, same length line as I have in the back here. Up here, I'm going to draw another line. Now all I have to do is connect these bottoms with a straight line. So I'll try to get this as straight as possible here. And then from here, whoop, getting a little bit wiggly right there. There's a couple buttons here. 
or knobs. I'm going to draw an oval, draw two lines coming down from the ends, and then connect it with an upward curve. Let's draw that again. So an oval, two lines coming down from the end, and then connecting it with an upward curve. So now we got that. Let's get into the bottom end part here. So right here at this point, I'm going to come down an angle. So I'm sort of changing angles slightly. From this point, I'm going to go up in an angle. And here it looks like there's a tip that comes out, connecting these two points with a straight line. Now, for that perspective thing that we just did here, I'm going to do the same thing here. So where it kind of changes angle, I'm going to draw a line down. Here I'm going to draw a line down. And here I'll draw a line down. There's these knobs that go across the edge here. So all I'm going to do is, just to make it simple, is draw these really long ovals. And I'm going to draw what looks like there's five of them across. Now, connecting these two points with a straight line, connect this point to here by going behind those elongated ovals all the way across and connecting these two points with a straight line. Now there's a little bit of detail there, but I'm going to leave that out for now just to keep it simple. But there we have it. There's Rock Freely from Herotopia. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like, share this with your friends. If you haven't played Herotopia, you should try it out. Go to the website, link in the description of this video, and you'll access the game. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.